Hey everyone, thanks for watching Country Boy Reviews. Do me a favor and smash that like button and hit the subscribe button and become a member of the Country Boy family. We are so glad to have you. Today we're going to do a little bitty pocket gun. It's going to be a nice little review of these little guns you can stick in your watch pocket. No, just kidding. This is a Taurus Model 66. This is a seven shot and you can see it's unloaded. 357 Magnum with a six inch barrel. This one's in matte black, okay? This is a really, really good firearm. I know a lot of you won't think that because of that Taurus name, but we'll talk more about that later. This one comes with a nice little rubber grip. You know, used to they come with the ones that had the little lines that were kind of squishy. I didn't really care for them that much. I, I like this grip. It, it feels good. Uh, the gun weighs around 40 ounces in this six inch model. Like I said, the seven shot with fully adjustable sights for windage and elevation. This gun's built good. It's a good solid gun. Um, Taurus has really done some, some really good improvements over the years. They've had some good models and some bad models. Most people always wanna put a stigma next to that Taurus name, but I've had some really good Tauruses. You can look back on the channel. Um, I've had some of the cheaper guns that have done really good. And I've had some expensive guns from other brands that's done really bad. So uh, we don't really look at the cost that much. Um, for a working man, this is our Colt Python or, or our uh, Model 29 Smith & Wesson. That's what this is because we're not going to realistically with families and our jobs and everything be able to dump out $2,500 for a, for a toy or for something that we're where we want, but we might be able to dump out 400 or $500 uh, for something like this. And we want something that'll last good, a long time, and this will. This will last you, okay? This is a really, really good firearm, very, very accurate. You can sight it in. I call these mini hand rifles because I have the Blackhawk six and a half inch barrel on it that I love. I can shoot out to 100 yards, no problem. This one here, same thing. Uh, these are, you can put 158 grain soft point in here, go deer hunting. I've slaughtered a lot of deer, not with this particular gun, but with 357 Magnums out of six inch barrels, I've slaughtered a lot of deer that way. And um, it's just, it really does a good job with a, with a good shot. Also, when you're going out in the woods, I call these woods or camping guns. You can throw this on your side. And I know some people who carry these every day. I know a guy who carries one of these under his, uh, in a shoulder holster with a blazer over it or a jacket or windbreaker sometimes a big a large flannel and he carries this with him everywhere he goes and he has for years so you know some people carry these guns it's not so heavy that it's i mean 40 ounces isn't horrible and you know you could probably get the four inch model uh that would be a little of course a little less weight but I think the main selling point to me on this gun, besides the price, is the seven round capacity there. Uh, that's just great, and the shootability. Um, the gun, like I said again, it's, it's, it's a very, very uh, accurate gun. 25, 50 yards, you know, you're stacking bullets. Very easy to shoot, handles the recoil really nice with this longer barrel and this grip. I know some people will buy the Hogue that goes down a little more, that's a little wider. But this right here, a lot of people really think this is a big improvement. Now, of course, it does come in a wonderful box like most things do nowadays for some reason. I have no clue. Uh, cost saving, I guess. But it always breaks my heart when I go and I, and I go to buy a gun and they, it looks like a nice gun and they give me a box. And, but, you know, for the, for the price you pay, the quality there is there. Like I said, a lot of us are not gonna be able to buy that Model 29 Smith & Wesson or that Colt Anaconda, Python, whatever all these things are. Uh, that's $2,500. That's that's a pickup truck for some of us, you know what I mean? So, uh, 20, you know, that's just unreasonable. Now, if you can, I'm not hating on you, that's good. But this, this gun will, I think, uh, deer or bad guys or on your side, they're not gonna know the difference. Uh, I've never seen a deer laugh at me for shooting a deer, shooting it with a $300 rifle uh, or against my friends, maybe $1,500 rifle. I don't really think they know the difference. As long as you can do your job, uh, I believe the gun will do it. So 
That being said, Taurus has had a stigma on them. I have had a lot of Tauruses, and I own a bunch of Tauruses, and I've had 98% of them have been great. Now, I did have an issue with a couple of the semi-automatics. It was, uh, I've had four Taurus G3Cs. Three of them have run perfect. I had another one that I bought from Bass Pro, and it was like Primer Strikes, okay? That's my extent, and, and a long time ago, I had the Taurus, it's the PT, it's, it's like the Beretta 92 or 96 model, uh, the old school one. I had one of those. Those are usually really good, well-made guns, but I had one of them that uh, wouldn't cycle. It turned out being a magazine issue. So, you know, and then I've had some real expensive guns and do. I've, had, I've got a, a Kimber that's over $1,200, that I can't get a, through a mag without it jamming. So I'm not hating on Kimber and I'm not praising Taurus. I'm just telling you for this model of one and for my friends, what I've seen, this is a good quality made firearm. This isn't a pot metal gun. This is a good quality gun. It's gonna last you for years. Uh, so if that Taurus name's holding you back from buying it, uh, throw that out the window, get this gun and have some fun with it. You know, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna serve you right. So if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, please. Uh, we've got some future videos coming up, some more reviews. We've got some crossbows coming up, some more about some other outdoor things, and of course, firearms. And uh, we want you to be a part of that. We got future giveaways coming up. And around here, this is the end of 2021. It's getting close to Christmas and the holidays. I wanna tell each and every one of you, Merry Christmas, uh, happy holidays. And we are so thankful for y'all. Uh, we started this channel, as a lot of you know, uh, because we have, were watching and trying to find videos, uh, reviews, real reviews, without these guys getting paid thousands of dollars a year of free products and wearing the, the, the merchandise and the company sending them the firearms. And so we buy all our own. Y'all help with that. And we get them and we review them for you, honestly. You know, if you buy something with your money and it don't work, you know you're going to be the first one to be mad and tell everybody, right? So that's what this channel is about. Everything we get here, we buy and, and we definitely, or trade for, and we definitely are going to let you know the bad along with the good. So that's why I can say you can trust these reviews for this samples that we have. I've got other friends who have uh, guns like this in the four inch model, two other friends in the six inch model. One of them's had his, had his a long time and he swears by it, loves it. So uh, if you're looking for a Taurus model 66, two thumbs up all the way. Uh, each and every one of you, thank you for watching. Like I said again, and uh, I want y'all to do Country Boy a big old favor and live life.